Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Hafner. Welcome to Sports Psych in a Minute, your weekly resource for insights and tips into the psychological side of equestrian sport. I know in my audience there's a number of people who have an interest in and an excitement about uh, theoretical physics and how it applies to our lives. I'm not going to take a really deep dive into theoretical physics today, but what I would like to do is to take some of the ideas um, that, and shifts in the way that we think about physics or think about science behind understanding the world that can really help us as equestrians, as competitors, make positive changes in the directions that we want to, to bring, the, bring us closer to our own personal goals. So if we go way back and we look at what uh, people call classical physics or we call Newtonian physics, Newtonian physics or classical physics is based on the idea that A causes B causes C, which then leads to outcome D, E, or F. The idea is it's linear, straight line. One thing causes another thing causes another thing in a really mechanistic sort of way. Now, this type of understanding is really, really helpful to us. And when we think about so many of the machines that, and, and uh, technologies that do physical things in our world, there's a lot of those which are based primarily on this idea. So I'm not suggesting that Newtonian physics is never particularly helpful. But what I'd like to do is to notice what happens later on with the development of things like quantum mechanics, quantum physics, um, the ideas in nuclear physics. And what you see is a shift from that sort of straight line linear thinking to uh, a different type of thinking in which we're looking at and understanding the world in terms of probabilities and possibilities rather than in terms of that kind of deterministic understanding. Well, you may wonder why it's an advantage to us to give up the certainty of these mechanistic sorts of views for something that's less certain that deals with probabilities. Well, Dr. Siegel, Dr. Dan Siegel, has written about this in a number of different places in his work when he talks about the human mind. And he coins a phrase called the plane of possibility. And what he suggests is that at any given moment, there is this plane of possibility in front of us. And there are certain events that are more probable or possible uh, in any given moment than there are other events. And his idea is, is that our experience emerging from moment to moment to moment, we can act in ways which increase or decrease the probability of those possibilities that are out there that for us to experience sometime in the future. Now, this is a really, really helpful idea in a couple of different ways. So the first way, which I think it's really helpful, is anybody who's been around horses or worked with horses or competed with horses for any amount of time would be hard-pressed to tell you or say that things work in a straight-line, deterministic sort of way. Now, we often couch our understandings in terms of these simple mechanistic views. Like, do this, you know. We, we talk about, we have advice, you know, where we tell people to do specific mechanical things. Inside leg to outside rein or, you know, heels down, head up. Those are, you know, simple things in, that, that we say, except the experience of them are not so mechanistic. They involve this really amazing dynamic, in, you know, interaction of, 
what we're able to do to communicate and what a horse is able to understand based on their level of training and experience and perhaps the partnership they have with a particular rider. So again, the first thing that this probabilistic view does is it really does seem to better reflect the reality of what we're doing with horses. The second thing is it helps us move away from this idea of black and white thinking of success and failure. This idea somehow that if, I, if I'm trying to do something and I don't get that outcome, it means that A, I failed and B, I must have screwed up doing something on the front end. Well, all of us have had an experience, let's say a situation where we're with a horse and that we apply an aid in a particular way, but that horse hasn't learned that aid in that particular way. And because they haven't learned that, they don't respond that the way we're supposed to. So are we wrong in the way that we apply the aid? Hmm, not particularly. From our perspective, we may have applied, been perfect in our application, but there was a miscommunication and then it becomes an issue of training and helping develop that understanding to move things forward. So this idea of things being probabilistic and moving away from this straight line uh, sort of cause and effect mentality helps us be a little bit more forgiving to appreciate the complexity of things and realize that just because we don't get the outcome we want in any given moment doesn't mean that someone has failed. Um, and ultimately, on the other side of things, just because it happens once doesn't mean it's going to happen the next time again. The third thing is uh, that where I think this really helps us is it helps us to approach things in a more helpful way. If I'm dealing with a mechanistic view of cause and effect, then in order to create a specific effect, I have to find that exact cause. And I'm gonna be narrowing my focus down to finding that one thing which is gonna transform our experience. And it certainly has been my experience that um, two things. One is that when it comes to horses, if I get really mechanistic, mechanistic trying to find that one specific thing, uh, I open myself up to a lot of difficulty and frustration. But more importantly, by focusing on that one thing, I then miss a lot of really important information that is going to be helpful for me in moving forward. Enter the idea of probabilities and shifting probabilities of the possibilities in front of us, and it changes your whole mindset. So really what you're looking for is not the one particular thing that's going to transform everything. What you're looking for are ways to increase the probability of stuff that you want and decrease the probability of things that you don't want. And taking that view, there may be any number of ways and avenues that you may think about in order to help and assist in creating the increased probability of, of desired experiences moving along the way. So in summary today, uh, like you to entertain the idea of shifting your thinking from mechanistic, linear, cause and effect ideas about how things happen with our horses, that we entertain the possibility of this idea of a plane of possibilities ahead of us, and that we are powerful in our ability to affect the probabilities of the things that we want to happen and the probabilities of things that we prefer not happen so that as we move from possibility to actuality, it is more likely that we're going to get what we want. Whether what we want is something in our state of mind or something in our relationship with our horse or something within our horse or something 
in a, the way that we together execute uh, something in competition. This has been Sports Psych in a Minute. I'm Dr. Paul Hafner. I look forward to seeing you next week.